Hey guys, what's up? It's Len. How are you all doing? Today is very exciting because I finally got my package from Charlotte and Japan's beauty recommendation in collaboration with Wish Trends. So for those who haven't seen it or don't know who Charla is, she's a YouTuber slash vlogger who makes videos from Japan, about Japan, about her life in Japan on various subjects and she made a video in collaboration with Wish Trend on her skin recommendations for keeping her skin looking youthful and healthy with various Korean products. From this collaboration, a discount was given for a package and I decided to splurge on this package. I usually don't do these kind of things but I believe the video came out around the time of my birthday and I thought why the F not? Also my skin has been acting out so badly for the past few months and I've been desperate to find a solution for it. So even though these products are more for youthful skin, maybe they will help with the different issues that I've been having. So my skin type. Coincidentally, I'm not wearing much makeup today. I made a makeup video this morning and then I took most of it off. So this is basically what my skin looked like. I look very pale at the moment. I don't know if it's due to me being tired or lacking in iron. My skin is usually naturally very pale, but at the moment it looks pale and kind of ashy, I find. I mean, it doesn't look healthy, which is very annoying because I try to be as healthy as possible. So it's very frustrating when my skin doesn't reflect how I want it to reflect. Uh, skin type, I have dry skin, but also very sensitive skin. And also I'm Milia Pro. Milia are the white bumps that you may sometimes see in some lightings on my vlogs and videos. Uh, they're not spots that you can actually squeeze, they're just like trapped. Um, particles like skin part dead skin cells that are trapped because my skin doesn't exfoliate properly i've had this my entire life i'm still looking for a, pro a miraculous product that can help my skin with it but i still haven't found anything i've been to the dermatologist they've given me creams that just irritated the crap out of my skin so i've dropped everything um but yeah so dry, sensitive, milia prone. At the moment, I'm breaking out on my forehead a lot, which has not happened to me in a very long time. I don't think I've had this since I was a teenager, so it might be because I'm working out more than I used to, hormone change and stuff, or it's just that my gut is unhealthy because I think this is the intestine, like, digestive zone mirror of the body. So since we are talking about um, age-related products. I'm 26. My skin doesn't look very youthful in my opinion. I get a lot of creasing especially around my eyes and as you can see my forehead um, does tend to have these you know these lines that do not go back to normal as fast as they used to. Anyway enough talking I just thought I'd introduce my skin to you guys and the whole topic. Here's the package and I haven't opened it yet so I'm gonna do that with you now. I love getting packages. First of all, this is how it's packed. It says Wish Trend, and we've got our product. Um, there was also a competition uh, where they put in a few boxes a like crown headband, and if you got the crown, you got an extra product. And for, at first glance, I did not win the competition, but that's okay. So I believe. I believe these are samples, so we're gonna check these out. So, oh, they're all different. Cool. They're all from Claire's. It says, Dear Claire's. Rich, moist, soothing cream, skin rebalancing, deeply hydrating for all skin types for night and day. We also have Claire's Supple Preparation Facial Toner. Moisturizing and toning balances pH levels for all skin type and for night and day. So this one is Claire's Gentle Black Deep Cleansing Oil. Smooth and gentle deep cleansing black grain ingredients for night. So this one is a nighttime one. And oh, this one is another moist... Oh, this is a serum. There's a rich moist soothing cream and this one is a rich moist soothing serum. So. Skin rebalancing, deep hydrating for all skin type for night and day. Okay, on to the rest of the package. This is so exciting! Okay. So this is Galactomyces. Maybe I'm butchering that. 95 Waiting Power Essence. Cor... 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 
C O S R X. This essence helps nourish and hydrate the skin, and over time, making it more radiant and clear. That is exactly why I need what I need for my ashy complexion. This essence works to nourish and revi revitalize your skin, so they give you clear, glowing, and hydrating, hydrated skin with plumped out fine lines. If you have dry, rough, or uneven patches, your skin will be smooth over with hydrating and repairing ingredients. That sounds amazing! By the way, I forgot to say I did not check how cruelty-free this brand was, but I trust Charla since she does use mostly cruelty-free products. This is gonna like level up my face care game like so much. So let's give this a sniff. Ooh. Actually, it doesn't smell of anything at all. Oh, this is a very faint. Like super, I really need to, to breathe it in. Super faint uh, smell. Next is the ginseng mask from I'm From. Let's check it out. So sealed, that's good. So, oh, this smells so good. And I also have the little spatula. Look how fancy. Especially this one. I mean, look. Whoa. <laughs> so, which one am I going to start with? So, this is a Claire's Freshly Juiced Vitamin Drop Pure Vitamin C Essence. Helps stimulate collagen production and improve skin tone and texture without a harsh irritation. Good. Let's open this baby up. Yeah, again, it doesn't smell like much. It smells a little like pharmaceutical-ish, but like very faint. So very fancy. And this one is the Claire's Midnight Blue Youth Activating Drop, Intensive EGF. I don't know what that is. Peptide treatment. And then there's a bunch of things like oil go peptide one and polypeptide one and guaiazulin. Proof. Complexion stimulates skin to encourage collagen production, accelerates skin renewal, uh, tex improves texture, elasticity of the skin, reduces pigmentation such as age spots, and lessens the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. I love these. It's like so fancy, and this one is so dark and mysterious. And this one's like, ah. Does this one have a smell? Ooh, like they made this little blue. I have the sheet masks which I'm also looking forward. Rich, moist, soothing sheet mask. No rotation, soothe, uh, refresh, dry, sensitive skin. Fiber mask perfectly hugs facial contour for better penetration of the active ingredients. So I'm looking forward to trying all of these products and seeing how my skin reacts to them. Obviously, I will keep updating you through the video. You'll be seeing me again in just about a minute, but for me, it will be one or two weeks later. So stay tuned. So it's been just about a week since I've been using the Wish Trend uh, products. So I've just looked at the picture I took on the very first day and I have been noticing along the way a few positive changes. At first, I did feel my skin resist to, to the new skincare. Uh, in a way, I felt that it was a little tingly, a little more sensitive. Uh, but it could also be because it's not used to having so many different products at the same time And also that I'm still figuring out in which order I want to use them and at which frequency So one week later, I think I've figured it out I'll be showing you towards the end of the video my updated skincare routine including the Wish Twin package uh, But so far, I am very happy with the results I tried all of the samples, which I'm also very happy with. I think uh, the only one was the toner that I find was maybe too aggressive for my very sensitive skin type. Otherwise, uh, I really enjoyed the soothing moisturizer and the soothing serum. Both of them were feel really, really good on my skin. I'm not gonna do this too long. This is just a quick update. I'll do a proper update on the two-week-ish 
marked so far all I'm wearing makeup wise right now are my eyebrows <laughs> and I don't have any concealer any foundation all I've done this morning after showering was do my skin regimen and um, breakout wise I did break out a little at the beginning but nothing too alarming because my skin was very angry as I've mentioned but right now my skin I'm not gonna say that it's happy, but it's definitely less angry, which is really good. I feel like my dark circles are less uh, visible than at the beginning. My breakouts uh, seem to have faded. Some scars all have also faded. Some, some of my, uh, some pimples that were on my face uh, that I had gotten rid of, they didn't really leave any mark, so that's really good. So, so far it has been very positive, I'm very happy. Uh, my favorite thing at the moment are those uh, sheet masks. They feel so amazing on my skin, really happy with those. So I'll see you again in about another week for my final updates and for my updated skin routine. But so far, so good, really happy. Wrinkle-wise, I am not sure yet because I am a very, I do have really deep set wrinkles and from my skin being sensitive and dry, I feel like everything is still fairly visible but my skin has looked healthier and definitely more glowing i don't know if you can see it from here it looks more toned so looking forward to the end result see you in a minute hey it's future me it's much later than two weeks i think we've just hit the three week mark or maybe even later i pushed the filming of this part later and later god this light thing is gonna drive me crazy isn't it I actually decided not to film at the two week mark and push it back a week, another week uh, because I was on my time of the month and my skin wasn't at its best and I thought it was just better to push it back another week. Long story short, so let's jump right into it. What did I think of this wish trend? Uh, I don't remember the name, youthful package. Let's just call it up for now. Recommended by Charla in Japan. Well, I'm very happy with it. So you can't immediately see a difference, but I definitely feel a difference in my skin. As I mentioned earlier in the video, my skin was very angry, very irritated. I could barely touch it with anything and I could just feel it burning. So now I can actually apply these products without feeling my skin tingle or react to them as it did in the first few uses so I'm very happy that I didn't have any bad reactions I didn't have any breakouts I didn't get any redness so that's already an excellent point next I do feel that my skin is brighter and that's really good because I did mention that I felt like my complexion was a little sad and gray so this is much better for me and it has brightened up a lot of uh, of areas in my skin which were a bit red and patchy my nose area is it comes and it goes but it's already much better and my dark circles are much better they're still there i think they'll always be there they're part of my face from now on i've reached that age i don't know uh but it's much better than before about the creasing and fine lines on my face i haven't really noticed a difference but maybe it takes time or maybe it there is a difference but i haven't really noticed it yet but i do feel my skin on my face i don't know it feels i feel more youthful it feels tighter maybe it's a placebo effect i don't know but long story short i'm very happy with this product and i am looking into getting more products off of wish trend to complete my skincare routine i am missing a toner and i'm missing a moisturizer and the moisturizer i got in the samples i don't remember what it was called but it's, it's, I think it's the same one that Charla is currently using. It felt really, really good on my skin, so I'm looking into purchasing that one. And a toner that will be suitable for my sensitive skin type. Looking into that, budgeting that, want to add that to my routine. So, how did I integrate the Wish Trend items to my routine? Well, to begin, my routine was pretty much non-existent. All I used was this micellaire water from Cohen de Farm. It's cruelty free and it says 97% uh, natural origin and it's for dry or, or sensitive skin. So yeah, I use this to clean my face in the morning and in the evenings. And if I had any stubborn makeup, I use oil on my face to melt the makeup and then I 
rinsed it off with my flannel and some hot water apart from that i had a lush moisturizer and then when i was out of that moisturizer i was using aloe vera gel i know it's not the most perfect skincare routine but honestly anything i put on my face made it break out or irritated so when these products actually worked on my skin without making it react it was like finally something i can put on my face what I did start doing though before I got the wish trend items was I started exfoliating which is something I stopped doing because everything was too harsh on my skin and then I found out that you could exfoliate with soft products so I blended some oats into a powder and all I do is mix it with water in the shower once or twice a week I usually do twice a week and I exfoliate and it hasn't messed up my skin so very happy with that and also I have been exfoliating my lips more because they have been so dry this by the way is the KISS lip scrub by Lush I think my skin is happy to be exfoliated I'm not sure yet my milia is still there but yeah I don't know if it'll ever go anywhere else um what else yes so for the masks the uh, sheet mask I do them twice a week it is recommended two to three times a week I do it twice so it will last me longer <laughs> but I have mentioned this before I love these I'm probably gonna order more because it's like the perfect little chill evening treat you just put this mask on it feels lovely you take it off you massage the remaining product into your face it, it just feels really good I am really really enjoying those sheet masks no, nothing negative to say maybe it does sting a little bit when I if it gets too close to my eyes the, like the skin around my eyes is too sensitive maybe but other than that loving the sheet masks 100% the other mask of course is the ginseng mask I only use it once a week I was a little scared because it has this gooey texture and I thought it was gonna be like a honey mask and like a really sticky and hard to take off but you it just slides on so easily on your face Charlotte mentioned in her video that it heats up and I was a bit afraid of that but it's like this really gentle warm feeling like not burning help I have something that shouldn't be on my face hot so it's absolutely fine and it rinses off just fine too it's not sticky at all i re i do really like it i don't think i will repurchase it it's not a staple product i don't think i haven't made up my mind yet but um very happy with that so for my actual skincare what i do at the end of the day is remove all my makeup as i've mentioned with my micellar water or with an oil cleanser when i say oil cleanser i just take almond oil that i bought from the organic supermarket massage it on my face as i mentioned melt the makeup off and then remove the excess after the cleansing step you're supposed to tone your skin don't have a toner yet but that's what i would be doing before using the galactomyces i still don't know if i'm pronouncing it right but this baby i use two pumps softly blend it on my face and then under my eye area and it feels really nice it just glides on your face really easily after that i use these two products i use the midnight uh, blue youth activating drop first as recommended by charla i use five drops in the palm of my hand and then i apply it softly to my affected areas so under my eyes around my eyes around my mouth on my forehead and then i use the rest of the product on my face followed by, by the freshly juiced vitamin drops same as the previous one five drops in the palm of my hand put it on the areas where i have a bit of scarring from old pimples and blemishes under my eye area to brighten it around my nose for the redness and again forehead and then rest of face with the residue after that depending on the day or my mood i will either use a rich moist soothing sheet mask or use a moisturizer so that is my updated skincare routine i'm still gonna keep updating it i really want to try some other products especially the missing ones the toner and the moisturizer but i know if i order those two i will buy a crap ton of other things which is not good for my wallet not good at all but <laughs> But in conclusion, very happy with all the products. There is no product that made my skin break out that had any negative effect on my skin. So that is a major positive point because I react to everything, literally everything I put on my face. So very happy with how my skin is. It's not angry anymore. We're not made, maybe not happy yet. I still haven't made my skin like happy, but it's not angry anymore. So. 
Thank you, Sharla, for recommending this product for putting this box together in collaboration with Wish Trend. So thank you, Wish Trend, also. So hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it, and it does help my channel so much. Also, if you're not subscribed, the subscribe button is down below, right next to the bell icon if you want to be notified first of my new videos. I know my schedule has been a little erratic of late, nothing new here. I do upload at least once a week. I try to go for two, doesn't always work out. Quality over quantity, guys. I'm always around, so if you miss me in between my videos, you can check out my Instagram and my Twitter and my, I don't know, I'm everywhere. Just type ecotree. It's, I, but there's probably, I'm probably on every platform out there. But Instagram and Twitter is where I keep you guys updated as much as I can. And of course, I have my website and my Patreon page, which I need to update ASAP. Remind me to do that. So, this is all for now. I'll see you all very soon in a new video. And don't forget, I outward you all. Bye, guys. <laughs>